Hey guys, it's Kaylee. I am back with another thrift haul and today I thought we would do a thrift haul on something I talk about pretty often in my videos but I've never done a haul strictly on and that is belts. Now I mention a lot in my videos that picking up belts is a very good investment because you can usually find them at the thrift store for a few bucks and most of the time that area is not going to be well picked over because it's usually in an off area and for that reason a lot of people aren't going through them so you're going to find some rare gems in there which are great so here in just a minute i will show you a lot of the belts that i have been picking up i hope this haul isn't too boring for you because it's just a bunch of belts but if you are interested in flipping belts online to make money i do think that it can be very lucrative if you're new here, hi, my name is Kaylee. I'm an online reseller. I find used clothing at thrift stores and I flip them online for a profit. My channel is about teaching other people to resell and make money online. All the links that I mentioned in the video are down below in the description. You can click on the link tree down below and it will pop up my eBay and Poshmark closet if you're interested in viewing. Drop a comment down below if you have any questions or you just want to say hi. You can also send me a message over on Instagram. If you like this reseller content, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. That way you get notified when I make new videos. Let's jump into today's video. So one thing I want to start by saying is that I pick up a lot of belts based off of strictly style and material, not based off of brand. And as a reseller, it's hard to get out of that mindset of not being afraid to pick up something without a brand. Um, a lot of the times, most of us will not pick up an article of clothing or a, an electronic or something like that without having the name brand. So first, you've really got to get out of that mindset when it comes to buying belts. Second thing I want to say is that you really want to try to stick with trends and go over things that are really in right now. Look for factors that people are looking for that you can attach a bunch of keywords to because that is how people are going to end up finding these belts because you don't have the brand most of the time, you're going to rely on your keywords. So I'm just going to go through and show you some of the belts that I've been getting. If they have brands, I will tell you what they are. But like I said, most of the time I'm just picking them up for aesthetic. Right now I'm really looking for quality materials, um, interesting statement buckles, really weird, unique designs. And then right now what's really on trend are bohemian and western style belts. So this first one does have a brand. Never heard of it. I haven't even looked it up yet, but I certainly will. Leo's Western Wear uh, by Chambers Phoenix. So I will definitely, when I do comps, make sure to look up that brand because if not, I might be you know, selling something for 20 bucks that might be worth a hundred. So I always look up the brand if there is one, but otherwise I usually just pick up based on style. This one I haven't looked up yet, but I picked it up because look at the buckle detail on this. This is an engraved metal longhorn buckle. This is the brand initials. So it's not initialed by somebody's uh initials which is a good sign because typically i wouldn't buy something like that and it also tells me that this brand might be worth a little bit more than what i think it is because of the branding on the front but nonetheless i still think somebody will buy this uh, regardless of brand even if there wasn't one on it because of that longhorn logo this is also genuine leather i Almost always, I hardly ever pick up a belt if it doesn't say leather on the back. I at least look for the leather. This is a size 30. And it has the engraved, tooled, whatever you want to call it, leather detail all throughout the belt. This one also has the size, size 30. Now that's another thing I'm not too scared of if I get a belt that doesn't have a size on it. Most of the time it doesn't. I simply measure it, include measurements in the description, and usually I am good to go. Uh, most people like to know the exact measurements anyways, even if there is a size on the belt. 
This next one has no branding, um, but it does feel like real leather. It does not say real leather, which like I said, sometimes I make exceptions for. And I made an exception for this because it has this Southwestern Bohemian detail. And this one, I don't know if you can tell, but it's got gold threading throughout, which makes it have a metallic kind of sparkly sheen to it. I really like the color of this as well. This would be a great neutral belt and just a regular metal buckle. Now some belts can go for $20, some can go for hundreds. Um, I just sold one today, I think for, it was either $30 or $35 that I picked up for a couple bucks. And like I say in all my videos, if I can sell a belt for more than a t-shirt, then why would I not look at the belts section? So. Most of these belts that I'm showing you today, I intend on selling for $20 or higher. Next one is by the brand Fossil, which is definitely a brand in belts that I like picking up. This is Genuine Leather. It is a size small. And I picked it up because it's really soft, supple leather, but it also has this interesting buckle kind of western vibes um, and it has mixed colors. It's two-toned with the silver and gold, which I thought was interesting in contrast with the brown. So I picked that one up. This is another fossil belt. This one has branding on the front. It is real leather and it's kind of, I don't know if you can tell, but it's kind of worn on the back and on the sides. But I still picked up because the front of it is still in pretty decent condition. Some people are looking for this worn in look on the leather. Um, so that doesn't usually deter me. I mainly picked this one up because it was the Fossil brand, which like I said, I like picking up. But I also picked it up for this Western looking buckle. And this buckle actually has some sparkly jewels inside of it as well. I picked up three different belts by the same brand. Um, the brand is Johnston and Murphy, which most of you will probably know from picking up their shoes. And one's just a plain black. One is a textured leather, brown leather. And, ooh, I got that mixed up. This is the black one. This one's like an espresso brown. It's almost black. You might not be able to tell on camera. Uh, but the reason I picked these ones up, I'm going to put two of them down. They're all the same size, so they must have come from the same person. I probably could make them into a lot, but I think I'm going to list them separately. But they'll be easy to list because I can usually just copy the draft. But I picked this up because it is a different kind of leather. Um, and usually that brings higher value. So this is a, let me read it, Aniline Kipskin Shoulder Leather. Now doing comps on these, if I remember correctly, there's like mixed comps on sell through rates and on price, but I picked these up before and they always flip well for me. So for that reason, I picked this up again. Um, Sometimes there's a little bit of wear on the buckle like this one has. I'll try to clean that up, but even still, it doesn't really deter me because the leather's in really good condition. And another belt. I think this is a women's because I think it's meant to be a waist belt. There's an RN number on here, but I looked it up and I can't figure out the brand. Gap and Banana Republic came up, but I don't think that that match still. Size 32, so... I'm just going to consider it unbranded, but it is just a Western looking leather belt. I picked it up mainly because I like how it is a woven style with, I guess, what you would call cutout details. And then it gets skinny towards the buckle area, which I thought was interesting. And it is a dark brown leather. The buckle even has a little bit of wear. But again, I don't let that deter me. Um, some people swap out the buckles anyways. This one has a snap. So you can actually change out the buckle pretty quickly. Some people just buy them for the leather. 
I feel like this is going to be a boring haul unless you're somebody that wants to get into belts, but I figured I'd show you what I was getting. Um, that way you could get an idea of some that you could pick up and maybe experiment with. This one is unbranded. It does say uh, made in Mexico right here. It has a little stamp that says that. It is real leather. And I picked this one up because it is a really pretty red color. And it has these woven scorpions in it. Anything unique like that always does well for me. It's got another one here. So when I do my cover photo, I'll make sure that this is showing. Here's another fossil belt. This one's a size large, and this is very similar to the one I showed you before. It's also a two-toned. But I just like the buckle, and I liked this. I don't know if this is... This looks like a camel color. Unique colors do really well for me as well. This is in really excellent condition and Fossil is a good brand to pick up in leather goods. This one, I need to look up the brand. I haven't yet. It's branded Paul Harris. It looks like that's either small or small slash medium. But I picked it up because it's got that blanket Southwestern style uh, print. It actually is like a textile fabric right here. So it actually is like a blanket textile. And I really like the color scheme of this. Super Southwestern, which like I said, is really trendy. And I really like the edges of this one. It's got kind of these bald edges. So for that reason, I picked this one up. Next is another, what I think is leather belt. It does not say leather on it. Um, but I picked it up because it does feel like quality leather and it's the statement buckle. Again, very Southwestern vibes. I like the turquoise blue jewels right here. This is a statement buckle and just worth noting on the back of some of the buckles, it'll say the material. This is solid brass. You might want to put that in your title. You might not. The rest of it is a black textured leather with stamped patterns. And it's also studded. So I'll be putting all of those keywords into this listing. And very last belt I wanted to show you. And this is probably my favorite one that I picked up recently. There was a brand on here. But it's so faded I can't tell what it says anymore. Um, but this is really nice leather. The exterior of it is in really excellent condition. And I picked it up because it is the Celestial Sun buckle. Celestial stuff, any moons, stars, uh, galaxy, anything like that is doing really excellent for me. And I've noticed it's been a big trend in prints. So I picked this guy up. Again, I think this is going to do excellent. I'll probably price him high. I haven't done comps on this yet. I just picked it up because I know that it'll do well. It might sell for a lot. It might sell for 25 bucks, but I'm definitely going to look it up. Another reason I picked this one up, like I said, there's no branding. But this buckle says made in Italy on the back. Which doesn't always mean quality, but typically it does. So that was my favorite belt find in the last week. Okay, guys, that is it for today's belt haul. Drop a comment down below. Let me know if that was interesting enough to do again. I know there's only, only so many things I can show you on belts. But if you have been wanting to get into belts and you're not really sure what to pick up, those are a couple examples of some of the belts that I tend to pick up and some of those key features. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.